hello there in this video i am going to introduce you to yet another awesome model which is called as d dixify before i tell you about this model let me try to explain what exactly is tech z tech z is a latex package for creating graphics and diagrams tech z stands for ticker zan and it is quite used in academia where this language or package is used for creating academic uh, graphics for the papers and if you want to draw any architectural diagram this um, package Tixi offers a wide range of features and options for creating complex graphics and diagrams so if you are writing a research paper i'm sure you are aware what i'm saying so this model or this uh, uh, paper this deals with uh, synthesizing graphics program for scientific figures and sketches with Tixi or in simple words it converts your hand drawn sketches and raster graphics into Tixi code with llamas that's what it does i will also show you how it works we will be using google colab in order to get a demo out of it if you want to install it locally it is a bit um, hard and taxing because there are a lot of packages which needs to be installed but can be done but we will use Google Colab. So the thing is that creating high quality scientific figures can be time consuming and challenging, even though sketching ideas on paper is relatively easy. Also recreating existing figures that are not stored in formats, preserving semantic information is equally complex. That is where this DTXify, which is a new multimodal language model that automatically synthesizes scientific figures as semantic preserving Tixi graphic programs based on sketches and existing figures. So the way it works is that it creates three new data set. One is called as the Tixi V2, which is the largest Tixi data set to date, containing over 360K human created Tixi graphics. And then they have Sketchfig, which is a data set that pairs hand-drawn sketches with their corresponding scientific figure. And then they have SciCap plus plus, which is a collection of diverse scientific figures and associated metadata. So all you need to remember is that this DTXify converts your hand-drawn sketches into Tixi um, code, plus it has three uh, data sets which it has been trained on. So let me now take you to my Google Colab, which is free, and let's try to change the runtime to T4 GPU. Let's try to get it installed and i'm just going to use a code provided by them where we'll be installing some of the prerequisites and then we'll go from there so let me paste it here so all here i'm doing it i'm just installing um, some of the packages plus cloning the repo and then just going with this dtxc5 package on the second and uh, second last line so let's wait for it to finish it uh, it takes a bit of a time by the way there you go. It is still installing it. It will take a bit of a time. As you can see, the ETA is around 15 minutes. But let's see because it has to install around just close to 5000 packages. So let's wait for it to finish. Meanwhile, let me quickly show you its architecture. So this is what I was referring to earlier when I was talking about its data set and its architecture. So it's a multimodal language model that converts sketches or figures into Tixi scripts or programs which are compiled, compiled by a latex engine. And this provides a reward signal to the model via MCTS, uh, enabling it to iteratively refine the output until satisfactory results are achieved on the right hand side. So this is how it works all in all. Let's go back here. It is still showing 15 minutes. So let's wait for 15 minutes and see how it goes. Normally, if you're running it in a proper environment, you would need a very good GPU. It won't run on this T4 GPU. Okay, let's wait for it to finish. The installation is still running. As mentioned earlier, it is going to take a fair bit of time. As you can see, it has already passed around more than 22 minutes since it is running. And the ET at the moment is over 25 minutes because there are 4,000, um, more than six, 4,600, something like which needs to be installed. 
So let's wait for it to finish. It is almost there and it it's done. Hopefully. And took around half an hour. And now it is running the config script which will take it up to this that up to 10 minutes. So let's wait for these config scripts to finish. Hopefully it won't crash on me at this point in time. It has finished installing all the config script and now it is installing rest of the stuff including that DTX CY. Hopefully it should be done soon. So if you're installing it, give it at least I would say 40 to 50 minutes to get everything installed. It is still going on. Okay, I cannot believe my eyes. It has eventually finished. It seems it has installed almost everything under the sun. Took at least 50 minutes. Anyway, so let's try to run the web GUI. So all it is doing it, it is just running this web, G, web user interface which it has installed. So let's see, and it should produce a Gradio link where you can play around with this model. So let's see, it is importing all the libraries, checking the memory and then launching it. Let's wait for it. I believe it is going to use this 1.3 billion one. There you go. So this is a Gradio link and it has also uh, produced it here which you can use it so there you go now we can upload an image so for example let me um or you can we can simply start drawing so i'm just going to click on this pencil icon and then i'm just going to pick this color and then i'm just going to start drawing here so i'm just going to say next And of course you can have your own image which you can start so i'm just going to put this click run and then if you look on the right hand side it is going to produce that tixie code so let's wait for it It is going to take a bit of a time because it is, I believe, running on T4 GPU at the moment. And while it runs, let me show you one more thing. So you see below it, it is using this model. It has downloaded that one binial model and now it is trying to load it into our shards. So if your GPU would support it, so hopefully this T4 will support it. It will be able to load and then it is going to run the entrance. So first shard is done, second is done. Let's see. I think hopefully it will be no error out. So if you don't have memory, then it is going to run out of memory at this point. It is also downloading this safe tensor from the open clip model. There are two tensors. One of the models actual and then the open clip one to deal with the images let's wait for it to finish and there you go so it has errored out by saying that flash attention only supports ampere gpu or newer because we are not using ampere gpu we are simply using the t4 gpu which is a free tier so unfortunately we it won't be able to show us the last output but at least now we know how to run it so if you have ampere gpu or the newer one like h1 h100 uh, or even newer you can simply run these commands and but be aware that it is going to take a lot of time first time and then afterward it should be good enough to run so if you have um images where you want to convert it into this um dtx z then this is a model Seems really cool to me. Yes, uh, installation is a bit of a pain in the back, but once you have it, I think quite useful. And especially if you're in uh, academia. So that's it, guys. I will drop the link to it in video's description. Uh, if you are into it and if you think this is useful for you, please share your use case. If you like the content, please consider subscribing to the channel. And if you're already subscribed, then please share it among your network as it helps a lot. Thank you.